Hello, is it maths you're looking for? Stats 1, here we are. OCR June 2012, question 7. So, in this question, it's about permutations and combinations. We have seven letters, A to G. And they're arranged in a random order in a straight line. How many different arrangements of the five letters are possible? Well, order matters because we're lining them up. Okay, so it's going to be seven to choose from, and we're choosing five, and because order matters, we do seven P5. That gives us 2,520 as our answer. How many of these arrangements end with a vowel? And in case you're not very good at English, it tells you what your vowels are, A and E. So, we're basically thinking about ways that we can end these five letters with either an A or an E. Okay, so the way I want us to think about that is to say, well, there's six other letters we can choose from if we're going to end with an A, because obviously one's gone. So six others left, and we need to choose where order matters, so it's P, four of them, because we've already got our vowel. Okay, So that's definitely got to be here, and the possibilities for before is 6P4. We can do that for the A, and don't forget E could be in here somewhere as well, and we can also do the same thing for the E, so it's going to be 6P4 for this as well. Hence, you have to do for your answer 6P4 times by 2, and you get 720. Moving on to part 2. A group of 5 people are to be chosen from a group of 7 people. These numbers sound familiar, maybe because they're using the same ones. This time, we're just talking about different groups. The key word before to know that ordered matters was arrangements. Different groups, nah, order doesn't matter. You just select a group of people, don't really care how they stand or anything like that. You're going to go off and do something fun with them maybe, I don't know. So, we've got seven people, we're choosing five, order doesn't matter, seven C five is 21. Now for the trickier part of the question. It says that the list of seven people includes Jill and Joe. So Jill and Joe. So a group of five people is to be chosen at random from the seven people, which include Jill and Joe. Now what it says is either Jill and Joe are both chosen or neither of them is chosen. A way to think about this is they can't be left on their own. So maybe they're best friends inseparable okay so we can basically think of those as one person because they're not going to split up or even better still one thing one entity together so all we have to consider are ways of picking things with Jill and Joe picking things with out Jill and Joe so if we want Jill and Joe to be in our group, let's call them JJ, there's five places in total, so there's three places left to fill. So we want to choose three more people. And how many people do we have to choose from? Five people left. So five choose three. Okay. If you do five choose three on your calculator, you're going to get 10. And let's think about if we do not pick uh, JJ, aka Jill and Joe. If we do not pick Jill and Joe, then we have to pick these guys. Okay, if you really want, it's five choose five, but come on, it's only one way to pick five people from five people. 
Now we're asked to find the probability that both of them are chosen. So it's 10, the probability that they're chosen, over all the possible all the possible combinations. Now it says given that they're chosen or they're not chosen. That means what we've just talked about are the only possibilities we need to think about. So it's 10 over 10 plus 1, which gives you your final answer of 10 over 11. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like, or better still, post a comment. Goodbye.